and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Simply breaking down the cheapest and fastest way to finish any of the Harvest Master sets. And I'm also going over if the price is worth it, what you essentially get for the price. Now, guys, this is circumstantial. For the right team, the set's great. For my team, it was not so great. It all depends on what you need, right? Like, so for me, the defensive players, I can't start them on my team. So for me personally, the defensive set not be great. Now, the offensive set, I can start some of them. So that set will be a lot more worthwhile for me. So you really got to look at your team. I'm going to go over all the ways in which this will help your team, all the ways where you can benefit. I'm going to go over all the prices, the training values, and everything you need to finish this set. Now, it's really not that bad if you're going to use the players or if you're going to sell Michael Irvin. I'm going to go over all the outcomes in which the money is right, where it's not right, and pretty much scenarios in which you're going to be looking at for this. Now, like I said, it's pretty great. I always love these master sets. The only issues with my team being as good as it is, sometimes the master sets don't always benefit me as much as they would have last year when I did not have such a great team or in relation to since I've been doing YouTube. Obviously before YouTube, and for a lot of you guys watching these videos, it's probably helped you guys out tremendously. So hopefully you guys see this is like my fourth video for the day and it's how to help you guys out. Now before we get into the video, boys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, boys. Anyone new watching this video, make sure to smash that sub button to be up to date with all the market news, football, daily content, pretty much everything that has to do with Ultimate Team. I'm your guy for that, so make sure you're subscribing. Comment down below if you guys have any, any other methods of doing this. I have the one that I pretty much have set in stone here. But if you guys have anything else, I'll be glad to hear it from you guys and hear your opinions. And if you haven't already, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, boys. If you're new to the channel, if you're old, you're a loyal member, every like in the video greatly helps out the channel grow. And it's because of you guys that we're able to even grow as far as we have. So let's get into this. So first and foremost, when we go over to the set, right? These are the sets I'm talking about. We got the Harvest Master sets. Now we got Michael Irvin and Night Train Line. Michael Irvin's 94, Night Trailing's 94, so they're obviously great cards. I'm, I'm going to pick up both of them most likely. I really love both these cards. They're pretty insane, to be quite honest with you. Both these cards are nice. I think I prefer Michael Irvin maybe a little more, just because of his stats, but then from a position standpoint, I like Night Train Lane more, so I'm going to be conflicted about who to do first. Now, if I had to pick one for the average team, I'd probably go defensive and I have to say maybe Night Train Lane. I think if I'm for the average team, but for my team, I think I want Michael Irvin. But let's go over the set. So they do require four pieces to be put in to get the night train lane. Now these cards you can't just get by just playing the game or buying them. You have to literally use training to get their pieces to build them. Now you get one for free. So I'm factoring in the free play here. So make sure you're getting your turkey bowl solos done. You unlock them as you go, finish all of them. You're gonna get one for free. So we're gonna be working this in the sense that you got your one for free already. And we're gonna have three left to go for this turkey bowl or for I should I say for the master set. So either or it's the same thing here essentially. So I'm gonna go over the solos real quick that you need to get done real quick in case you don't actually know what I'm talking about. Going over to the solo challenges, you're going to see the Turkey Bowl solos. Should be somewhere near the top. It always starts me, it always starts me there. So the Turkey Bowl, you're gonna go over here, you're going to play the Turkey Bowl trials and slowly do all the options until you get to the end. And then the final Turkey Bowl is a full game, but if you chew clock, it took me like eight minutes, not gonna lie. So it was not hard at all. Get that done, you're gonna get one free player. Now I recommend you take the free player from the one set that you wanna do. Because if you don't, you're gonna have a free player in one set that you're not gonna finish and you're gonna have to do four for the other. So I recommend if you're gonna do defensive or offense, make sure you take that player. Now, in my personal opinion, guys, the best player you want will be tra train lane. But for this method specifically, for what I'm gonna recommend, I think the best set to do is Michael Irvin for this method. Now, because Michael Irvin, I think has more usable players. I think a lot of people can start Quentin Nelson because he's a, he's a left guard. I think a lot of people could start Zach Ertz as even a backup tight end because most people use two tight ends. And a lot of people could start Odell Beckham Jr. And Brady might be the one odd man out in the situation. Now, defensively, I'm not a fan of the defense because Kerrigan, I don't think, is a starter for me. He's not a starter for most teams, I don't think. I think that Bose is a starter. A most if you don't have Pat Tillman's a starter. And Bouye could be a starter if you don't have any other good cornerbacks. Now, I'm personally, my personal one that I like to do is Irvin, but remember, that's based off what you want. The method stays the same no matter what. I'm just saying that I think I prefer to have Odell, Ertz, and Nelson over the other three. Although I love Bosa, but it's up to you guys on which one you're going to do, but the method remains the same. Now, assuming you guys have one of them, right? Now, you're going to have to build the others. Now, to build the others, you're going to come over to the store. So, if we come over to the store, and we're going to go over to training currency. You're going to have to get this pack right here, the side dish fantasy pack and the main course fantasy pack. So, you're going to need four of these and four of these to make them. So, these cost 2200 and this one costs 220 So, if you add that up, you're going to need four of them, so 2200 times four. Is 8,800 8, and then plus 220 plus 220 plus 220 and then plus 220. It's gonna cost you about 9,000, like about 9,700 coins total. Just about. 
I might have clicked the wrong button there, but it's gonna be about, it's gonna take about in theory a 92 overall card. A 92 overall card will cover the bulk of the training. So we're coming over to the auction block. I'm gonna show you guys what the 92 overalls go for. So these are the ones that I, I bought Gene Upshot to do mine. Gene Upshot was the cheapest one at the time. Obviously, you want to filter these out and check before you just buy whatever I say. 92 overalls are going for about 257. It's so like Dallas Clark, right? That's around that to about let's go actually let's go with 257. So 257 is gonna cost for each one. So you're gonna need three players here, assuming you got the first one. It's gonna be 257 times three. So it's gonna cost you 771,000 coins to do this set, right? Now, here's the beauty of this set. 771,000 coins to do this set. Now, when you go do the set, you get back, you do end up getting back all four of the players, Nat and Michael Irvin or Nitro Lane and their power up, right? So whichever one you end up choosing, the only thing that they hurt this this time with the set was in the in the Halloween promo, you were able to quick sell the players you got for a decent amount of training to where it was worthwhile to like sell, get back the training. But with this one specifically, you cannot do that. They are, from what I saw in Mudhead, they only go for 2,000 training. So from what I'm seeing there, that is really not all that worth it considering how much you put into them. So that's not really a viable method this time. But as you guys can see, you got the first one. So it's going to cost you 771,000 to finish the set. Now, Michael Irvin goes for about 520k. So, and his power up goes for about 30k. So you, you let's say you sell both, you take off reduction, you're probably ending up with 500k flat at the end of this, right? So now if you sell, this method requires that you sell Michael Irvin and you sell, or Nitro Lane, whichever one. That's the first step. There's two methods here. So the first one you sell, you sell Michael Irvin and you get the four players not. So to get these four players not, if you subtract the 500k total you're gonna get back, it will cost you 271,000 to get four 92 overall cards guys that's a steal one 92 overall card goes for 270 think about it you're essentially getting three 92 overalls for free for the price of one give or take right in my personal opinion i think this is great now the other way you can do it is you just keep michael Irvin, and for 771,000, you did get the master and 492s now you could quick sell all of them but the training and value you're gonna get back is not gonna be worth it. you're gonna end up paying the same price for michael Irvin. The best bet for this year, you can't do it in this promo like we did last promo. This one specifically, you can just perfectly get four Nat cards for the price of 271. And if you really want to, you can just sell Brady or put them as a backup. And remember, even if they're backups, they still get the chems you can put on them. You can put Shaker, you can put like Sprinter, you can put Lockdown, Go Deep, whatever. You put a lot of stuff on them so that they still can potentially help your team out in other ways than just the one. So with this set, this one you're looking for about for under 270,000 coins to get four 92 overalls. I think that's a great thing right there in my opinion. See, I was gonna do this, but here's the issue with my team, right? The reason that I can't do it is that Tom Brady won't start for my team. Odell Beckham Jr. can't start for my team. Zach Ertz is gonna be a backup, which was okay actually for me. And Quinton Nelson is starting for me. So, he have to be, I'd only really start Quinton Nelson. So that is why, for me personally, I don't think it's worth it. And defensively, I love, I love Joey Bosa, but again, I won't start Kerrigan. I won't start Bouye and I won't start Amos because I have Tillman, I have my three corners already, and I have my, I have both sides Von Miller and Lord Taylor. So for me, none of these sets are worth it because I don't want the Nats. Now, if it was like last promo, I could have potentially sold the Nats, quick sold them, got the training value back, just kept Bosa, and I actually almost broke even and did a really good job. But I don't think they really let you do that this time. I don't know if they knew a lot. A lot of people were doing that, and it kind of hurt the, the whole money making pro process of people actually buying packs of these cards instead. So the way they did it this time kind of negates that. But like I said, there's two methods here. You either can get the master for 771,000 plus the other cards and you just keep them or you quick or you just sell the master off and you sell his power up and you keep the Nats, which I think is a great way to go about this. So in my personal opinion, I'm a big fan of this. Like I said, I've, I literally spent all morning thinking about whether or not I should go into this and do it. That was, that was my personal thought process. Like, is it worth it to do it for me? And I, I couldn't find the way it was worth it for my team. As you guys know, I have, I have, I wouldn't call it a God squad, but it's, it's a lower budget to go out squad. So for me, it wouldn't, it just wouldn't work. Especially I have to save a lot of coins to do a lot of other things. So it would only would have been about 400K more than what I'm going to do to buy them. But like I said, I don't think it was worth it for me. And remember, if you guys want to save a little bit of coins right here, you go over to exchange sets and you come down to the intro side, just collectible. If you toss in one of your little, uh, I think it's the uh, regular, is it a regular gold player? Yeah. You can just toss in any regular gold player in the sets that you have, anyone in your collection and you get one main is this a side dish or a main dish you get one side dish so this does save you some coins because the other one it would have been like 220 training saves you a little bit it's not a bunch but it's not, it's something you know it's not horrible and then you could also use the uh the gold or the elite players or the gold harvest players to get some more but i don't really I haven't done the breakdown for which ones were worthwhile so that's up to you guys what you guys think is more worth it for you but essentially 
like I said, I think the best bet for you guys is to sell the master off. So you pretty much only spend a little under 300K, about 271,000 for my mathematics here. And you end up with four nat players. I think that is a great deal for most of you guys, especially you guys, especially like you know money spent guys. This is awesome for you guys because you guys don't have the luxury to just pick the players you want. You kind of got to rock with those nat players. I know no money spent a big part of it is nat players. So it's definitely gonna it's gonna behoove you guys to go through with this in my opinion if i have any updated math or anything else for you guys i will make another video on this going over it if we get like a house rules with another player there could be a lot of ways to make this even more profitable if more stuff comes out but for the time being this is what we're going with and the market is really up right now guys so trading's obviously a little up which is going to impact the price a little bit as well as the, the masses are actually up because the trading is up so you can also anticipate that you can sell michael Irvin for a little more than he otherwise would have been going for but that is about it for the video thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell come join the family and if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up if this helps you guys out if it sounds interesting and you're still here to this point always smash the like button it helps out the channel tremendously but that's about it enjoy the rest of your day make sure to check out the other three videos i did post and that's about it i'm out see you guys next video